NVIDIA unveiling a new AI audio generator today dubbed Fugato, saying the program can create entirely new sounds. Won't be released to the public, but NVIDIA is betting that the demo will help inspire customers to push the limits of AI. Our Deirdre Bosa has more in today's Tech Check. Tell us about this, Deirdre. <laughs> Okay, well, Sarah, AI-generated audio, let me first say that's not new, but in creating never-before-heard sounds, Fugato does represent a leap forward. Here's an example from NVIDIA's demo. This is a saxophone howling, then barking, then electronic music with dogs barking. <laughs> You can only hear it to believe it. Now, NVIDIA isn't exactly known as a consumer product company, and it does not have plans to make this tool widely available, but that's not the point here. NVIDIA has a long history of creating products as part of its own moonshot factory that's meant to inspire its customers or create new products or lead to the evolution of its own technology. Like its Android-based Shield back in 2013, this was a portable hybrid gaming console that was a niche product, but it helped lay the groundwork for mainstream consoles that would come later, like the Nintendo Switch, which is also a hybrid console and used the NVIDIA Tegra processors. NVIDIA's own DGX, this is its supercomputer in a box for AI tasks, it was created in part from learnings from a Shield streaming box, also part of this project Shield. It would get NVIDIA familiar with supply chain management and hardware software integration that has been so crucial for modern day NVIDIA. Jensen Huang recently spoke about this on a podcast with ARM CEO Renee Haas. At the time, they say it was utterly unobvious that there was a market fit for this Shield product. It was my excuse to turn NVIDIA into a systems company. Yeah. And people will ask me, you know, the DGX1, which is the, the yeah. computer that changed everything. Right, right. Well, you know, how, how did that come about? Well, DGX1 is just a very large shield. DGX is now, of course, a cornerstone of the NVIDIA ecosystem and critical to its AI leadership. The first one, by the way, hand-delivered by Jensen Huang himself to OpenAI back in 2016. Going back to Fugato, go, though, guys, and what it could inspire creative music composition, new soundscapes in Hollywood movies, more immersive VR worlds, advertising campaigns. The idea is that someone out there seeing or hearing that demo that we showed you guys a part of might go back to NVIDIA and ask to learn more or build on top of it. But also, as is often the case in generative AI, Fugato could raise new ethical and legal questions like copyright and misuse. And that was part of the reason NVIDIA says that it's not releasing it widely. But guys, it's a bit of insight into how products like these have helped NVIDIA sort of last through different eras from crypto to gaming and now the undisputed AI leader. Uh, the artistic community, D, because it's definitely going to feed the argument that all of AI is just building on top of stolen work, they would say. Exactly. Exactly. And I mean, there's two camps here, right, saying that generative AI is going to inspire more creativity. It's going to be a type of co-pilot or an agent that creates new things. But you're right, all of the underlying source material, at least right now, comes from something else, comes from something that may be copyright or created by someone else. When you move into the idea of synthetic data, synthetic sounds, that's still sort of built on existing, you know, ownership pieces that are out there. So it raises all those questions, but it's also likely to lead to a lot of new creativity, new sounds, as we heard. Maybe some more useful than a saxophone barking and howling <laughs> with electronic music. <laughs> yeah, the video is definitely worth uh, checking out to our viewers. Uh, definitely gives you a sense of what is possible as we move forward through this new world. Uh, D, thanks. Uh, Deirdre Bosa.